S A M A N T S E S. It's the semantics. You find crochet tutorials. It's the semantics. For your favorite superhero. It's the semantics. We'll make your awesome card home decor. It's the semantics. American English doesn't have to be a bore. It's the semantics. With semantics and semantics and more. It's the semantics. Hi guys, it's Samantha Goodhart with thesemantics.com and thesemantics.etsy.com. Today I want to go over if you should use Cricut or a Silhouette or both. And I'm going to let you know what I use and how I got there from 2014. So, when I first started in 2014, I was just making vinyl decals and I didn't have a cutting machine. So I was actually buying <clears throat> vinyl that you can print on the back of. I mean, you weren't really supposed to but I was able to. So I would print the image in reverse on the back of the vinyl and then use a little X-Acto knife <laughs> and cut it out myself. And that's how I made my decals. And then I actually got a machine and <clears throat> it was great. So first, the machine. It depends on what you're going to be cutting. So if you're just going to be doing vinyl and like iron on vinyl, which is what this is, then I would definitely say the silhouette. And the reason is because of the software. So <clears throat> if you're going to be designing your own things, Cricut doesn't really allow you to do that. They're more of a cartridge-based software, so they basically want you to keep buying their cartridges where they enable you to do like different fonts and designs and stuff like that, but it's all stuff that they've made. So that's basically what their stuff is for. Silhouette, on the other hand, is more like Photoshop in the sense where you can actually make your own stuff. I could actually upload a picture and make a silhouette from that picture that is of like a random dude, which I actually did before. <laughs> but... <clears throat> So as far as machines go, I would definitely say the Silhouette, and I, I'm pretty sure this is the first generation Cameo, and I've been using it since I got it, and I actually got <clears throat> a Cricut Explore Air, and it just wasn't what I needed. I got it as a backup when this started acting up, <laughs> and then I realized that every time I would make an edit to my image, it would basically degrade the image even more. So instead of having like a smooth line, I, I think I was making my gay pride hearts, which it's basically, <clears throat> it's a heart and then each color is a separate sheet of vinyl that I have to cut and then I put it together myself. But you can see that you need a smooth edge because it's a heart. But with the Cricut, when I tried uploading it and I would either shrink it down to however or whatever size I needed it to or whatever I needed to do, it would like chop it up and make it all fuzzy. And it, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Who wants that in a decal? So... Software-wise, I would definitely say Silhouette if you are planning on designing your own stuff. If you want to use somebody else's stuff, and by that I mean the companies, then sure, go with Cricut. But if not, then I would definitely say Silhouette. And that is just for the machine software. Now, as far as materials go, for the tools, I use Silhouette only because that's what I bought <clears throat> when I got the machine. And you can use the Cricut stuff. I mean, it's, it's just a tool that you're using. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> for vinyl, I use Cricut because their vinyl is actually very good quality. And I've never actually had a problem with it. I used to buy the Hobby Lobby brand. I bought Silhouette. I bought uh, some stuff online. <clears throat> but it just wasn't very good. So vinyl, definitely Cricut, and you can actually use the cutting mats with Cricut, or I'm sorry, for Cricut. So I use the Cricut cutting mats with the Silhouette machine, and the way that 
I've found I have to do it is <clears throat> in the software itself. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I mentioned I'm sick, but I have a lot of stuff going on in here. <clears throat> so the way that I do it in the software is I have to drop it down half an inch and then it'll actually line up at the top of the grid on this Cricut mat. Now, if you go and use the actual silhouette mat, then it'll just work normally. But that's the workaround if you're using a Cricut mat with the silhouette cameo. And again, this is a first generation model, so it may even be different now. But that is what I've been using and it works great. I've never had a problem. So tools, doesn't really matter. Vinyl, definitely Cricut. Cutting mat, definitely Cricut. And the reason why I choose Cricut cutting mats over Silhouette is because not only are the bigger ones available in more stores, but <clears throat> they're able to grip more materials. And like if I want to use cardstock or some other thing, then it just works a lot better. And now, my biggest secret with using anything for decal making is do not use the transfer tape that they sell <laughs> because it fucking sucks. It's just so bad. Um, it, it usually leaves a little residue on whatever you're applying it to. Like I, I normally do it on cars. So it'll leave a little residue or it just, it'll pick up your image, but then you won't be able to get it off easily. So what I actually use and what I've been using <clears throat> since, almost since I started, is stencil film. And I don't know if they still make it, but I used to use the Martha Stewart brand and that stuff was fucking awesome. But... If you can't get your hands on that, the Cricut stencil film is just as good. And this is what I use for all of my decals. And if you're unfamiliar, transfer tape is what you use <clears throat> to apply the image. The only downside is that it has Cricut all over it, which the transfer tape also does. And the same thing with uh, most other transfer tapes. But I really would not use anything that says transfer tape on it because it's fucking terrible. So stencil film is the way to go. And if you do want some kind of transfer tape that doesn't have text on it, then I would recommend actually ordering it online. Uh, there's this website, Sign Warehouse. And they have something called Hobby Transfer Tape. It's this, which is, I don't know if you can really tell in the video, but it's also blue. Um, the only difference between the blue is that this, the front sheet, <clears throat> which would be the sticky sheet that holds onto the decal, that is blue. And with this, it's the back sheet. So, <laughs> you probably won't be able to tell in the video, but... Here's the one where the blue is the back sheet, and here's the one where it's the front. And this one is slightly darker because of that. I actually <laughs> I had um, somebody order a decal from me, and they wanted some color. So I sent it to them, and they were getting it as a gift for their friends. So they didn't actually apply it themselves. And when they got it, because of the blue sheet over it, it looked like a different color. So they left me a review on Etsy and they were like, oh yeah, I ordered whatever color, but it was purple and whatever, but my friend liked the decal. So that's the only downside about it. <laughs> and I should probably mention that it's a different color, but I mean, that was a while ago. And if you peel it back, you're going to see that that's the actual color as opposed to this, where it has the blue film on it. So, I think that's about it. So to sum up, machine depends on what you're planning to do with it. 
and what materials you want to cut. So, I don't know if I mentioned before, the Cricut Maker is able to cut a lot more materials. But if you're just doing vinyl, then I would highly recommend Silhouette because it gives you more freedom, basically, <laughs> to do what you want and to actually make your own designs where you're not just replicating something over and over again that you see everywhere. And this, I'm saying, for people who are planning on selling their finished products. So if you want to sell on Etsy as a vinyl maker or whatever, decal maker or shirts or what have you, you can't just buy the Cricut cartridges because everybody's doing that and they're all selling the same thing and you're just going to get lost in that sea of fucking... I don't even know. This is my home stuff. So, yeah. Silhouette all the way for machine and definitely software. And then materials, Cricut. And you can use the Cricut materials with the silhouette. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> but you can do it. You can even use the mat, as I said. But yeah. So again, remember, don't use the Cricut transfer tape. It's terrible. Stencil film all the way. And that's it. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you've learned something and that you'll put it to use. If you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, take care. This is yes. <laughs> oh boy. That's fun. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's do that one more time.